Hey, time to have a look at the critical path method. It is one of the project manager's best tools when scheduling a project timeline. Let's jump to the Lamborari project and assume because you're an awesome project manager, you have done everything you need to up to this point. And of course, you're still as cool as a cucumber. You have your list of activities and their durations with buffers. Bear in mind, this is a snippet of the activities that would be involved in a project. You will see that later things get very detailed. But in the interest of time, I will demonstrate what we need with a shorter list of activities. What you must do as a project manager is identify the longest chain of dependent activities required to complete the project. This is called the critical path. It is critical because delays to this path will certainly cause delays to the whole project. One of the best ways to plot the critical path is to put the information in a network chart with boxes and arrows. This works well because it shows all the tasks and all the durations in the boxes and all dependencies, the arrows, making it as easy as pie to chart a critical path. Okay. Using our work breakdown structure and activity list, let's begin. So, we have our four work streams. Showroom construction, car selection and production, visual effects development, and staff recruitment and preparation. Each stream can be executed in parallel, starting with A, O, K, and M, respectively. Now let's see how each stream flows and how, or if, they intertwine. So, excavate foundations follows prepare land for construction works. Build foundation structure follows excavate foundations. Build showroom spaces follows build foundation structure, and so on. The majority of these are logical dependencies. But remember, there can always be resource, external, and soft dependencies to consider. For example, F, design interiors, must follow C, build foundation structure. These do not seem dependent. However, the chief engineer needs to participate in the design activities, although he will not have the available time before the main part of the construction is done. This makes it a resource constraint. There we have it. Now, as you can see, A through to I is the longest stream. This is the path you will need to be the most vigilant with. As any delay here will postpone the whole project, this is the critical path. With the non-critical paths, you have extra time where a delayed task won't halt the overall timeline, and this is called a float. As you can see, the car selection and production stream has a float of two weeks. Therefore, if a task is delayed within this float, it won't affect the project directly. However, if there is a delay longer than the float, then this non-critical path becomes the critical path. Yes, that's right. The critical path is dynamic and can change during the project. So you will need to monitor it carefully as the work progresses. What you've done here is a major step to creating the project schedule. But there's one more thing you can do to further help yourself and that is by making a Gantt chart. And next lesson, we'll be taking a good look at that. Thanks a lot.